welcome everybody to the Lone Ranger and Tonto, the tricks of the magic of horsemanship. This clip you're about to see is a horse that could not get in the horse trailer. This is a broke horse, trained, several attempts to get this animal in the trailer and would not. You're going to be very surprised what we ended up doing to get this animal to come in the horse trailer. Tonto, where are you at? You're always somewhere else. It is looking to stop it. So what do you think about the getting the horse loading trailer? I'll tell you, that was amazing. It was awesome. I wouldn't believe it if I wasn't there for myself. It was really something else. I think they're really going to be surprised what happened. So, and also when you watch it, pay a lot of attention to the different things that we end up doing and pay a lot of attention to the horse, what he did and what he was acting like before he actually got in the trailer. So, anything else you want to add to this? I uh, just watched the film. It's awesome. I'll tell you one thing here. Very pretty soon we're going to have to go out to go back to work and and chase the bad guys. And uh, what are you doing, Tonto? Hello. Definitely a good time to answer. Hey, where at? I will be there. They're robbing the bank, King Masabi. We got to go. Check everybody later. My name's Ed Crothers, equine analyst. Today we're here at Greg Sire's farm. He has a mare that is broke, pretty well trained, but will not load in the horse trailer. So what I'm gonna do today, we're gonna see why. Uh, a lot of times, horses don't wanna go in trailers for several reasons. A lot is pain, lots of pain issues, or be, I've got hurt in the trailer and afraid to get back in the trailer. Uh, just because they're afraid of getting hurt or too close. And so Greg was nice enough to let us come to the farm today to video this and see if we can figure out um, the Philly's problem. So Greg's going to try to load her first and then we'll kind of break everything down and see what it's going to take to get her relaxing and getting in the trailer. Also, I'm an inventor of the ultimate training halter which we might be using here in the video. This is a halter that I invented, invented with buttons here at the pole for pressure points. Also here on the side, also buttons here on the nose. So with this halter, <coughs> we hit the pressure points and get the animal to move and off the pressure point. So at this point here, we're going to, Greg's going to try to load her and we'll see what happens to her. Pretty upset, Greg, when you try to load her, or sometimes. Yeah, but not, not too bad. And you can kind of see how she's getting real concerned. She's thinking about it here. And he says sometimes when she gets in the trailer, she'll go in and come flying back out. So I'm gonna put a little pressure behind her here and see if I can get her to push in a little bit. A little bit of pressure. A lot of times this is where we start bringing the whips out and start hustling, trying to chase her in there. Um, you can tell by looking at her that she doesn't want to go in there. So the biggest thing that I'm trying to do here with this video is to let people know before you start hustling and grabbing ropes and trying to drag them in, 
you got to make sure a couple things here on why she doesn't want to go in. The thing of it is, you can tell she's pretty cool with the trailer, but the more pressure we put on, the more she's getting upset. Now, we're standing at her all day, she'll put her front feet up, and everything's cool. But as soon as we start adding pressure and we're going to be pushing her around, then things are going to change a little bit. She begins to throw her head back and yeah. flying out. Remember, sometimes, and you can see how she does, as soon as Greg starts pulling on her head, you can see the resistance, which it looks like she just don't want to go in the horse trap. So I'm going to go over her and see if we got any pain issues here on the reason why. She's not afraid of the trailer. I mean, that's not the problem here. But she walks right up there and then stands there. So what I'm doing here now is just checking to see if anything in her neck hurts. Okay, and all I have is just a little piece of, I call my pain finder. This helps me locate any pain. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. And you can see just my probing here, even with my hand, everything falls apart. I stop, she stops. Okay. Let me check some other places. So, you know, right now we already have a problem. I'm just going down the back here, probing. Okay, we got a spot here, real bad there, and over here. Not too bad there. So I've got three pain issues here right now. So, and our neck's really bad. stop probing on her how calm she gets so these are pain problems so now when you're asking the horse to go in the trailer with neck problems you're pulling on the neck and you're causing these pain issues to be worse which is a big reason why she doesn't load so I'm going to fix these here and we're going to try this again if you'll let us This is my ultimate training halter. Like I said before, this is not, does not hurt. It's on the pressure points. It releases and just gives you a little more control and a little understanding here. Also, the brow band here across the front keeps the halter buttons on the pressure points. And this halter releases very quickly. As soon as the animal gets off the buttons, it releases. 
And the biggest thing is when I fix these places, it's going to take me a few minutes to get her to understand that these pain issues that we just had, or that she has, is gone. Okay. You're okay. So right now I'm doing some body adjustment here and putting a couple spots on her neck there that was out. You see her licking and chewing, so I definitely lined up some stuff here. about it is a lot of horses out there that have some as we call bad habits um, from bucking to not loading the horse trailer and the biggest thing is most of the time it's pain you got to look for pain and you can see now that I'm still I'm probing over here in the same places now she was freaking out, went me off of her neck. Now you can tell that it's lined up. It feels a whole lot better. She's dropping her head down. Telling me thanks, huh? Feels better. Now we'll go on the other side here and adjust it also. You're on. And probably. This mare here, how long you how long have you owned her? Three years. Yeah, three years. And the problem that she has is probably five years old. So she had this when he had purchased her. So it's kind of hard to tell if your horse is acting different if it acts the same. And when you buy, you know, or when he purchased her with the all already had these problems. And these problems that I'm finding, she has you know, every reason and not want to get in the horse trail. You see her calming down, starting to relax. There's a spot right there. Okay, good. So a lot of times when your horse's attitude changes and get real disrespectful, you need to call your vet, your chiropractor, and make sure pain's not the issue here. And the thing of it is when these guys are in pain, which we might still have a little trouble with her, is that she has to get trained in her mind that when we do these things here to get her in a trailer or whatever, this pain is not there. So, I got one spot back here to fix. Okay. One of the reasons we came over here today was to do a demonstration with my ultimate training halter to show you a horse that don't load, put my halter on, how it changes them and helps them to go the direction that uh, we want, which is in the horse trail. But today, unfortunately, with the pain issues she's got, my halter is going to be a big help, but it's going to be hard to, you know, say the halter did it when all these pain issues she has I just fixed. You can, you can see now, I just touched her a few minutes ago, I can push, you know, it's not there no more. Ain't all this head shaking and all this stuff going on. Well, Gary, go ahead and see if you can work on, see if she'll go in the trailer for you. See if there's a difference here. Let's move the hammers. And like I said, it's still going to take a few minutes here to get her to realize that these pain issues are not there when she walks in the trailer.
true, if I know me. No, I know her. And if she does come in, a lot of times, she'll, she's not been in very many times, but she'll put her front up in, and she'll out. throw that head up and really come in. Let's take place in Biggest thing she's doing here, she's not paying no attention to the trailer. She's not even focused on coming in yet.
biggest thing with her, her neck is hurt. And when she raises up to get in the trailer, her neck is hurt. So this is what causes trailer problems. She's done this before, right? Greg, just come and stand up like this. And stand, yeah. yeah. Girl. That's about the most she would do the last time I tried to load it. She seems calmer this time. Well, the biggest problem, too, is back to her neck problem, be pulling on the neck. Okay, but where it hurt in the past and pulling on the neck, and then I tried to use that same approach and it did not work. Okay, her neck is better, but in her mind, when I'm pulling on it, it hurts, especially when she stepped up. You know, when she stepped up in the horse trailer, she remembers it hurt. So, you know, what I've tried to do here, and one is analyzing and getting the pain and then getting her some way comfortable to get up in the trailer. So we're going to load her here a few more times. And I know when you're watching and I'm pulling on her, you're like, yeah, you ain't going to get that horse in there. Well, once I was pulling on her and she did not respond, then I realized, remember, her neck hurt. Now let's just ask her to go up on her way without pulling on the neck. Come on, baby. But you got to remember, she's not afraid of the trailer. She loads, comes out like a professional horse that's been loaded. But when my neck hurts and you're pulling on it, I'm not going no place. Come on, sweetie. Here we go again. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Now, if you watched her there, when I was pouring on her head just a little bit, she'd make funny noises like, Ugh. I wasn't pulling that hard. But in her mind, it hurts when somebody does that. So she was already expecting pain. And if it is, she's starting to realize it doesn't hurt when I pull on her. Now, this is a horse that could be really hard on saying, you know, get behind her, just drag her in, this and that. You would have to drag her in every time you load her because it's the pain in her neck. Come on, girl. Good job. Right and you look at that, how much training did I do? I did not. One thing I did took the pain away and I got her comfortable to understand that it doesn't hurt when you step up, it doesn't hurt when you pull. Okay. She's already been trained to load the trailer. I mean, so you can't train a horse to do something he's already trained for. So I just take the pain. See her, she's, she ain't afraid of being in there. It just hurt when you're pulling to ask her to go in there. Let's ask her one more time. Come on, sweetie. You see the softness in her eyes, how relaxed she is versus before. You know, she's the horse that's trained. This is how she's supposed to act. Let's go. Just want everybody to know this is the end here. So always remember when your horse doesn't load, don't always expect you just don't want to get in the horse truck. There can be pain issues there that you need to check out, which you can see on this horse. It doesn't matter who the trainer is, whatever, this horse wasn't going to load right until you. Get the horse. Tell everybody bye. Check out right later.
but this whole deal is going to be about my halter. Unfortunately, it can't be my halter because I can't say my halter did it because it was a pain issue. Good girl. Good girl. When I was pulling in there, she didn't make a funny noise. She says it's going to hurt. When I step up and pull, it's going to hurt. But I wanted everybody to see he ain't going to get her loaded. There's no way. And I come out here and she walked in with it and pull. You might want Right now, she wants 